The Tarrant County Medical Examiner says a young woman whose body was found under a bridge in Fort Worth was shot to death. Police arrested a man for murdering 19-year-old Janicia Mason last week, but questions still remain about what led up to that shooting. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager joins us now because, Peyton, I know you had a chance to speak with Mason's mother, and she still has, of course, a lot of questions. What can you tell us? I did, Heather, and she is just back from her daughter's funeral. It was this weekend in Louisiana, and we know the 19-year-old was found with multiple gunshot wounds. However, it's still a mystery because she, her mom says she was last seen in Dallas, but then her body was found under a bridge in Fort Worth, and police say the alleged killer was arrested in Haltom City. Under this Fort Worth bridge, investigators found the body of 19-year-old Janicia Mason late last month. Monday, the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's website says Mason's death was ruled a homicide due to multiple gunshot wounds. Every time I hear it, it's like a piece of me is just dying and dying in the inside because she didn't deserve it at all. Mason's mother, Barbara Taylor, just returned to North Texas Monday after her daughter's funeral over the weekend in Louisiana. That support that I'm glad that she's put to rest. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad that my daughter is put to rest and I was able to find her. However, Taylor says her daughter was laid to rest still with so many questions. Taylor says the last day she talked to her daughter was March 17th. She said that she was going to give me a call and and I called after dinner. She didn't pick up the next morning. She didn't pick up and I started getting worried. Fort Worth police say on March 23rd, they received a call that someone located Mason under a bridge off South Precinct Line Road in Fort Worth. A week later, Fort Worth investigators took 29-year-old Joseph Aparicio into custody. Aparicio sits in the Tarrant County Jail charged with murder. Fort Worth PD tells Fox 4 Monday, Aparicio was arrested at his Haltom City home just after 1 a.m. on March 30th. Mason's family says she was last seen alive in Dallas with other friends. It's still unclear how she knew Aparicio and how her body ended up nearly 30 miles away. Did you not think that she, she have family, a big, huge family and friends that love her? Like, you hurt a lot of people. He really hurt a lot of people. Fort Worth police also haven't released why they believe Aparicio killed Mason. It's also unknown where exactly Mason was killed before she was dumped. Online records show Aparicio does have a criminal history, including an unlawful possession with a firearm in 2022. I'm like, it's real live monsters that walk amongst us that don't, I mean, look like monsters, but are actually monsters. The 19-year-old's mother tells me that her daughter was seen with a group of people the last night she was seen alive. So she's asking if anyone has any information leading up to her murder to please call Fort Worth Police.